Hi everyone, my name is Xin Zhao. Today I'm going to present our work on consistency types for replicate data in a higher order distributed programming language. First of all, the context we are talking about are the distributed applications provide scalable services that run on virtualized cloud infrastructures in one or more data centers, supporting many concurrent clients. For example, chat services, in-commerce platforms, social media platforms, game servers, and so on. There are three properties which are necessary to concern when building these applications. First is consistency, which means every read receives the most recent write or an error. Second is availability, which means every request receives a non-error response without the guarantee that it contains the most recent write. Third is partition tolerance, which means that the system continues to operate despite an arbitrary number of messages being dropped or delayed by the network between nodes. However, due to the CAP theorem, it's impossible for a distributed data store to simultaneously provide more than two out of the three guarantees. In the presence of network partition, we need to trade off between availability and consistency. For bank transfer, achieving strong consistency for each transaction is required. But for chat services, high availability is more important. It is clear that there is no perfect consistency model that will suit every application. Because of that, distributed systems commonly provide multiple consistency levels. The following question is, how about consistency safety for systems with mixed consistency levels? So the problem here is how to safely use both consistent and available data within the same application. Here is a ticket booking example. The function number of seats returns how many seats remain, and the function book first checks the remaining tickets and then process the payment. We notice here that number of seats are implemented using fast read, which is a common request for many databases that returns a value from one of the replicas. It responds in a highly available manner. However, this value might be out of date, which is now assigning to remaining. The remaining influence a payment process, which is a consistent state update. It causes a problem that the update of consistent state are based on inconsistent information. So our work introduced consistency types for replicate data, CTRD, that statically checks distributed programs and enables the safe use of strongly and weakly consistent data within the same program. We provide operational semantics for a distributed setup and provide proofs for type soundness, non-interference, and consistency property. So there are three steps towards the solution for the previous example. First, we want to define consistency attributes. If you look from the data perspective, only the data distributed on different replicas consider the concept of consistency. Normally, an operation arrives to the system and we look at the consistency of data after the acknowledgement from the system. If the acknowledgement always returns after all the data are consistent, then the data is strongly consistent. If the acknowledgement returns as long as one replica is available, and then the updates are happening asynchronously in the background, then we say the data is highly available. And if acknowledgement returns differently according to the operation types, either respond immediately or respond after strong synchronization, then it contains hybrid consistent data. Here we use observable Tommy consistent, which is one of the hybrid consistency level as a representative. So now we have 
local data that does not consider consistency levels and distributed data with different consistency levels. And we can use local, consistent, available, OEC to represent these properties. Now, if we look at the consistency from the operation perspective, operations for strongly consistent data are restricted by strong consistency models. Similarly, for highly available data, operations are restricted by weak consistency models. And for observable atomic data, operations are restricted by observable atomic consistency models. The relation here is somewhat obvious, but it's worth noting that the consistency properties are necessary for both data and operations, which is also an important feature for our later on formalization. In our work, we apply information flow techniques that are popular in computer security field into a distributed programming field. We can order the labels in an information flow lattice, where the high labels cannot affect the lower labels. Intuitively, available label will be on the top because we want to avoid the flow from inconsistent data to consistent data. So the higher in the lattice, the weaker the consistency model is. Additionally, we add this local label at the bottom of the lattice because we want to keep the lattice structure in a simple way for the later on reasoning. Now we can look back to the previous ticket booking example. First, let's try to simply attach the labels as we understand the code. The number of seats should return an available value, so we label available here. And the remaining value should be consistent, so we label consistent here. Since the label available should not be lower than consistent, the information flow should not allow this assignment to happen. If the label of remaining can be changed to available, then the indirect flow should also be detected by the information flow type system. And as a real fix, we need to re-implement the number of seats function using a consistent read. In this way, the return value of the function can be actually labeled as consistent. So here is a formal syntax of the language, which is a higher order language with distributed references and consistency types. The ML style reference contains additionally a user defined identifier to support multiple clients accessing. Uh, the language also contains some additional terms such as await, flex read, flex write, the runtime generated terms such as duplicated and abstract location O. And we also have lattice values and types for supporting commutative operations. In this language, values and types are annotated with labels, which we described before. And uh, the labels on types actually related with subtyping. So here is a selected subtyping relation where the labeled types are covariant in their labels. And now let's look at the type checking example where we assign an available term T2 to a consistent reference T1. In our T assign rule, after the type checking of T1 and T2, the restriction is to make sure that the type of T2 is a subtype of the type of reference body of T1. Consider the type uh, subtyping relation above because label available is higher than label consistent, this assignment cannot be type checked since the subtyping re restrictions cannot be preserved. Um, besides static semantics, we also describe dynamic semantics in our work. Before we go to that part, I will first present a system abstraction we use through the work so we can think about the same scenario. In this abstraction, there are multiple clients which are connected to the server side by a network. The servers have multiple uh, replicas in order to provide fault tolerance. So a local storage locations are labeled as local. And for distributed locations, if the label is consistent, then the server side will be updated with strong, strong consistency. 
If the label is available, then the update will happen asynchronously both on the local side and the remote side. And the dynamic reduction rules also consider the local part and the distribute part. For the local reduction, we ignore the network and server side. So the configuration looks like this, uh, which not only includes a common local program, local storage mu, but also a message buffer b and a map from identifier to location small lambda. For example, the e available reference rule shows that when an available reference is created, it checks that the user defined ID does not appear before, and then it eternally creates an abstract location O. And then update the local storage mu and the map lambda. And finally put the message update to the message buffer for later propagation once the network is available. For distribute reduction, the configuration looks like this. So now we consider the whole system. We have a set of clients containing their local configurations. We have M, which is an abstraction for network. We have S, which represents the server side with a set of replicas. And we have a global big lambda that is a map from the identifier to the physical locations. For creating a consistent reference which requires network connection, the identifier needs to be unique. And then a, a distributed abstract location is internally created. And to simplify the semantics, we abstract from the distributed consensus protocol. So once the reduction finishes, all the replica are updated in one step and have the same state. So I'm not going into details about more reduction rules, but just present some correctness properties we get from the formalization of the language. First is the type soundness property, which indicates that the reduction of weird typed programs cannot get stuck except for await and duplicate terms. So we don't have runtime label violations. Then we have the non-interference property, which helps us to know that the consistent data cannot be affected by available data. We also use this non-interference property further to discover more consistent uh, consistency properties of the language. For example, consistent operations provide sequential consistency and uh, available operations provide um, eventual consistency. More details can be found in our paper. Here, we will briefly compare our work with some related works. First is a disciplined inconsistency, where the consistency types concept originally comes from. Our work CTRD provides a complete uh, formalization, and we use information flow techniques to prevent both direct and implicit information flow. Uh, another information flow type system is consist T, so our work is actually developed in parallel with them, and the difference is that CTRD is an ML-style functional language, while ConsistT is an object-oriented language. CTRD also provides uh, consistency properties for individual operations. And finally, we compare with Captain, which throw an runtime exception when a consistency conflict happens. CTRD, however, detects this consistency conflicts statically. So to summarize, we introduce the consistency types for replicate data, CTRD, that statically checks and enables the safe use of strongly and weakly consistent data within the same program. We provide operational semantics for distributed setup and provide type soundness, non-interference, and consistency property proofs. So thank you for listening.